I think it'll be interesting. PT is always hard to gauge matchups because there's three of them. We've seen the Palu trusted immediately. You've got good disjoints, you've got good anti-zoning tools to kind of harass Pac-Man, whether he tries to go for fruits or set up Hydrant or that kind of thing. Precisely. Very nice. So, here we go then, kicking things off. Rep the Austria tag for Austria. Come on there. Get in there. All right. Straight away, kicking things off. And uh, just very, like, uh, He's bit, not bit of a scrap to box. No, 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 for sure. Yeah, straight away gets a bit of space, charges out that lemon, throws it away and catches it, and immediately doesn't waste any time like holding onto it, just creates that pressure immediately. I, I like this proactive pack play. Oh my goodness, great steal on the bell! Oh, misses the, misses the pickup though. That could have been a huge uh, opportunity to just completely shut down neutral for zone. Yeah, it was a, a great idea. It's super dangerous whenever anybody but Pac-Man has the bell. Did, does homing not work on the... Oh my god! Uh, so, <laughs> oh okay, that was goodness. pretty smart because you know that Hydrant's gonna launch the same angle as the move launches normally. Yes, of course. Um, what I was gonna say is, does homing just not hit Hydrant? Because that's what it looked like. Oh yeah, I don't think it does. Honestly, a pretty common uh, mistake against Pac-Man I see is that people just aimlessly hit the Hydrant when they don't know exactly which sequence of moves they should use to destroy the Hydrant. And that's kind of the, the, the vortex you get sucked into, and that just lets Pac-Man charge for, for free. Uh, Zone was able to, you know, get something off it that one time. Dare I attribute that a bit to luck. Also, a uh, bit of an interesting interaction we had. Uh, the auto radical from, ooh, the dash tag catching the bell. Not quite able to find anything off of it, but the uh, auto radical actually stopped uh, the bell in its tracks. And there we go, that spot dodge called out. Zone takes a lean and celebrates with a couple teleport cancels. Yeah, the, the Oracle will do... Oh, that's it. Ooh, the awareness! Oh my goodness, clap it! Uh, catching zone right at the start uh, right at the startup of that teleport and just no hesitation from Karma. Goes straight into that side, be the perfect angle and gets the kill at like 90. Gorgeous stuff. All right, and it's a great start from zone so far. And zone getting punished for the Hydrant now. You can tell Karma's just adapting to when he's going to go for it. He's really rolling with his momentum. He's looking really, really nice right now. Trying to catch that orange after it gets stopped by the auto radicals. Interesting to see a lot of these fruits. I wonder if the key would react the same, but a lot of these fruits get stopped by auto radicals. Kind of interesting. Yeah, zone just teleporting to the other side of the stage, not trying to deal with whatever nonsense Karma's setting up. You, you never know what uh, what uh, high velocity uh, vitamin C is going to be flying at your face when you're playing against a Pac-Man. Ooh, lovely air to air with that back air, calling out exactly when Karma wanted to approach with that forward air. Completely stuffs it out with the back air. Beautifully timed. A bit unlucky there, because it looked like one of the multi hits of F till ended up connecting with the Hydra. Mm. But uh, still able to keep things going. Very nice. Ooh, there we go. Uh, weird situation. Karma couldn't quite find a move that hit low enough. Uh, to punish the underside of PS2, but scary bonks at the weirdest angle. Why did that bonk? I hate this stage, dude. So cringe. Oh, they get up attack though. Great bait with the down tilt. That down tilt, somewhat laggy, but it was cool on the uh, the, the end side. And the up air closes it out. Very nicely done, Zone, maintaining this lead. Yeah, even if you DI out that down throw so you don't get back air or fair, you still have to deal with the fact that you're above Palatina. And Zone doing a really good job of just continuing to juggle and getting the kill anyway. Yeah, Bell going in the center zone, thinking about trying to find the catch, and that will cause him to, to find himself in a tricky scramble situation. Drop that back air on a shielding Pac-Man, and you don't want to be touching the shield of a Pac-Man who's holding a bell, especially when you are at kill percent, because that means it is your time. Oh, great parry on, the, on the, the strawberry cannon. That was gorgeous. That was great, and we actually saw a reflector in there, which we haven't seen at all. Palutena's reflector, right. not great but it could be useful in certain circumstances, especially with Hydrant. I like some of that Z-drop pressure as well, just applying as much pressure to that shield as possible, trying to get pokes when, they, when he can. Really nicely spaced back as whittling down the shield, beating out the Hydrant completely, obviously, as well. <laughs> that grab just calls out the dash. Oh my goodness, what? That's, like, DI's out of the uh, of the spaceship and catches it with, uh, with the Z button. Fantastically done there. Really, really nice matchup awareness from Zone. Still, we are down to the very last moments of this game right now. Oh my goodness, he thought he had a, he had the grab beat, but was a, a fast fell that back air a little bit too quickly. And now Pac-Man's got a hold of that bell. You never know when your stock could just explode. Trying to bait it with a spot dodge and a Z-drop, but it's not going to happen. It's, a, it's spaghetti all over the floor, mixed in with these fruit. Oh, it's a tomato salad. 
Yeah, oh, it my is, goodness. It is just spaghetti. They're both panicking right now. And they're both just about living, scrapping, scrambling, trying to find this kill. This is the punish again. Oh. Reminder, when, like, when you start panicking, your inputs get faster. Your body starts moving quicker. And it can be really difficult to get the right punishes. There we go. That exact same situation. The grab comes out the ledge after a neutral getup. The last time zone, he just fast fell that little bit too early this time. Doesn't fast fall at all, just hops up, lets the backer come down in its own time. And that is a perfect picture of what I think Zone has done so much better in recent weeks. And that's composure. You were talking about like the uh, the adrenaline starts pumping, everything starts speeding up, and when all you need to do is just take your foot off the gas and let the game play itself. Yeah, not missing that punish the second time and just learning to, to cool his nerves and calm down and work under pressure in something like a last hit situation. Gorgeous, gorgeous bit of composure. Going straight back to PS2. Neither of these two interested in stage counter picking. And I shall be having a stern word with them afterwards because <laughs> no, nonetheless, it, it's fine for both these characters. But we are getting into the second game. And straight away, Zone picking up a very nice early lead. Catching Karma on the ledge time after time. Gotta be careful though. That, oh my goodness, that, that stage spike could have very easily sent Zone into that red trampoline. And you fall onto that red trampoline. It is good night. Still though, barely gets clipped by the last hit, that explosive flame. Uh, Karma's done a really good job of air dodging and drifting out to the side of these explosive flames so yeah. far. But um, that but time was just uh, caught out by it. It feels like Zone is just making more of his advantage. Like, he gets one neutral opening and he's keeping you at ledge until you're at 120. And the advantage state that we've seen from Karma is good, but comparatively, it's, it's not as good. He's one neutral more times, he's got less damage. Really uh, a missed opportunity there for, uh, at ledge for Karma. Just lost their nerve a little bit, running into these explosive flames. It's a bit unfortunate to see. But nonetheless, got that, uh, that bell in hand. To maybe use it to find a kill. I, uh, when, when Rage was on deck, I know Zone was a kill percent, but now we've probably got to find just a little bit more before we can find that kill. Um, still the Zone, just in, 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 in very solidly in control of this uh, set right now. Trying to maybe get that uh, uh, upshot of the Hydrant to combo up throw into up air uh, from uh, Karma, but uh, didn't quite stand on top of the Hydrant in time to trigger that uh, upward spurt of the Hydrant Water and thus drop the combo. Very, very technical character. So many nuances to think I, about for Pac-Man. I match. feel like that thing, like the thing that's shown with optimal combo routes is that every character just has up throw up air in some way. <laughs> it's a dreaded run from it. <laughs> up throw up air returns. All the same trying to get to roll. But Zone sitting pretty with a whole stock lead right now. This yeah. is, uh, this is just cold, calculated perfection with, right now. With any character in this game, killing can feel really linear, and Zone hasn't really had to struggle with that, but we've seen Karma had to deal with it, not really being able to do much damage for an entire stock, and having Zone sit at kill percent, just kind of panicking, throwing out random F smashes, trying to hard read a roll, and it's not really working out so far. Zone is just gonna sit back, take advantage, and do more and more damage. Okay, interesting grab through the Hydrant then. Lovely bit of awareness. That uh, ballot ledge going for the get-up attack to beat it out. Oh my goodness! Zone just not flinch flinching in the face of that pressure. Just holding shield because he, he knows that unle uh, unless he drops that shield, uh, you know Karma's not going to get anything from the grab there. So, great, great uh, patience and awareness. Goes high with the recovery, no punish, but the roll in uh, gets caught. Still though, Karma yet to find this first stock. Finally, the key will do it. And sitting pretty at uh, 69%. Nice. Oh, boo. Damn it, Zone. Took away the 69%. Oh, tries the counter on the Ooh. side B, but it doesn't come off. Good save there. Really good save there from Karma. Able to uh, avoid uh, uh, ending this uh, this game in a very unfortunate way. Here we go. Big opportunity with the combo. That's a quick 85 out of nowhere. And if Karma can find this stock, suddenly... This is doable, but uh, you, you've got to yeah. find this first stock first. And you are still on the ledge against Palu. Barely survive against that back throw. This could be it. Brilliantly done to deliberately stage spike Great the first score. two oppies so that they were harder to hit and then only go for the third. And Zone could be slipping oh. here. The down throw is not going to do it. Or it is. Reed's Karma doing nothing and takes it from there. 
Very, very nicely done. All righty then. Zone, after a very, very competitive um, first game, the second was just, it was brutal. It was calculated, it was slow, it was painful. And he ground the hair of the people down into a fine yellow paste. 